KTLA 5's John Finolio is covering both camps tonight. John? Well, hey, Cher, Hillary Clinton is facing a whole new batch of hacked emails, and Donald Trump says the shackles are off as he goes rogue on his own party. As the chasm between Donald Trump and the Republican Party grows wider, the GOP nominee is digging his heels in and preparing for war. I wouldn't want to be in a foxhole with a lot of these people. He's taking aim at his own party, tweeting, Disloyal Republicans are far more difficult than crooked Hillary. They come at you from all sides. They don't know how to win. I will teach them. And this one. It's so nice that the shackles have been taken off, and I can now fight for America the way I want to. Trump's latest salvo coming one day after House Speaker Paul Ryan announced he won't defend the top of the ticket any longer, focusing instead on preserving the party's majority in Congress, prompting a day-long online rage. Our very weak and ineffective leader Paul Ryan had a bad conference call where his members went wild at his disloyalty. The polls are pretty even in Florida. You don't let me down. Both Trump and Hillary Clinton are campaigning in battleground Florida. The Democratic nominee hoping to attract millennial voters by pressing the issue of climate change with former Vice President Al Gore. She's also getting a boost from the current commander in chief in North Carolina. She actually knows what she's talking about, which is helpful when you're president of the United States. This, as the Clinton campaign is again forced to deal with more leaked emails posted by WikiLeaks. In one email, Clinton campaign spokesman Brian Fallon, who previously worked at the Justice Department, appears to have communicated with his old colleagues about a court brief related to Clinton's emails. Fallon wrote, DOJ folks inform me there is a status hearing in this case this morning, so we could have a window into the judge's thinking. Trump seizing on the email, calling it collusion between the Clinton camp and the Justice Department. Today we learned, amazingly, that the Department of Justice fed information to the Clinton campaign about the email investigation so that the campaign could be prepared to cover up her crimes. Now, Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta would not confirm the validity of the emails. He did say that Russia seems to be trying to interfere in the election to benefit Donald Trump. Back to you. John, thank you.